What's up, everybody? Jay here, as always, and today we're gonna be playing more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney on the uh, PS4. We're gonna be continuing where we left off yesterday in the middle of the case where Maya Faye was murdered, and they are trying to pin her sister on the murder. So, let's pick up and load our game. And get into some more wacky court drama stuff. Kinda wish real court was like this because I would watch more of it. On court TV, you know? <laughs> September 7th, 3.11 p.m. Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Oh, it's April May. <laughs> we all remember her from yesterday's lovely uh, playthrough. Well, hello! I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. It's really quite moving. Not you, stinking lawyer. I hope you die. Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May. A little bit, because you, you got, you got, you got a twitch there, girl. Uh, you need to get that checked. No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Oh, damn. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky-headed... Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security officer. So, what is it you wish to ask of me, then? Hmm? For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? <sighs> uh, yeah, I'm really, really not too sure what to ask this girl because she's flipping insane. About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose! Hmm. Maybe if I had something to get her to talk. I don't really... I mean, we have her testimony. Hey, guess what? Actually, I um really hate your guts. So get lost, because, well... I'm not cooperating. Thanks, I noticed. <sighs> Maybe this? Nope, same bullshit. Alright, well, let's... Let's see, the wiretap. Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Aw, when you say it like that, it sounds so... cold, so criminal. That's because it is, woman! Um, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school? Hmm? Probably. Creep. This woman is impossible to talk to. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it, bottom-feeding, scum-sucking lawyer! B bottom I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers, or just against me? Uh... I mean... Wait a sec. No, 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 no. Oh. Ah, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no. Not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the gate warders rep, as they say. Uh, rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where the m murderer used a wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It will be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa. Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. 
I too will become famous. The bellboy who bought the murderer ice coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So, you are our honored guest. Please let me know if there is anything I can bring you. Can I examine the room? Huh? There's still a screwdriver stuck in that trough. Uh, please leave that as it is, sir. That's the drawer of terror, hiding place of the murderer's wiretap. It's set to become one of the most popular attractions here. This guy's serious. I don't believe it. Okay. Is there anything? Miss May. About Miss May. Oh, her. Sir, not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She'd do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are the same ilk. We both carry the scent of danger. There are... There we are, in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. If I had a photo of the man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. A photo, hmm? Where the hell can I get a photo? Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely. And on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known, er known as the Gate Warder. I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle? The Gate Warder Hotel. Murder Matter. Why? Well, what do you think? Uh, sounds great. Whatever floats your tea set. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna move on. Now, the last time we went here, there was a huge ass painting on that wall. Now, this little picture here is showing that it's gone, so. Yeah. September 7th, Grossberg Law Offices. Uh, looks like Grossberg is out today again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. Yeah, but. Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? Three million dollars! <laughs> yeah, babe, that's what it was. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was a painting of Marvin Grisberg, wasn't it? It wasn't a very memorable painting, anyhow. And there's just a random picture here. What's this? Old photos? There are two laying here. Something's been written in pencil on the backs. DL6 Incident, Exhibit A. DL6 Incident, Exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. That's a lady. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. I'm sure no one will miss just one photo. And it might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. A photo lies on the desk. Maybe I should switch it with the one I took. I'm gonna switch that because that... That's that white guy. And... 10 to 1, I bet you he was the one with... What's her face? On the back of the photo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we do have him. Alright. I'm gonna move back to the hotel and show the bellboy mom and what that might be their mom let me present this to the bellhop take a look at this photo that's him detective um i'm the lawyer oh i know that i just wanted to say detective once you know how it is oh no i don't 
Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss May. Yo, know, she was hoarding it up. You know, he got money, and she was, uh, she was dishing out that hair pie to him. How about I write an affidavit swearing that's him? An affidavit? This guy is way too excited. I'm gonna have him write it. Well, sure, why not? Yes. I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Why? Is he giving everything titles? It's weird. Just hurry up and write it. And bellboy's affidavit added to the court records. Not even Miss May can play dumb to this. Oh, let's go back to her now. Let's, let's talk to Pinky. I'm sure if you show Pinky girl, she'll talk. <laughs> Great minds think alike. You again. Can't you take a hint and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now? You don't just have spiky hair. You also have a spiky heart. Man. That does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. <laughs> Hey! Hey, 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 What show are this? Have a look at this. Look, I've said several times I'm not telling you. Where did you... Ha ha ha, reaction. This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? It is him. This is the man who stayed with in your hotel room the night of the murder. No, no, that's not right. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. Did do you have proof that was him? Hmm. Yeah, proof. Show me proof. I'm so close. Yes! Oh, I'm so glad I talked to that boy. That weird, creepy boy. Could you have a look at this? What's that? The bellboy's affidavit. It tells us everything he saw. Such as the man who checked in with you. Who was most definitely this guy. Now I'm getting somewhere. Oh, should I push her hard or... T ten to one, she likes being pushed hard. Mm -hmm, if you know what I mean. Uh, okay, ease her fears. Okay, okay. She's vulnerable now. I should be gentle. Miss May. It would be easy for me to hand this affidavit to the police. If they get involved, wouldn't your boss be even more inconvenienced? All I want to do is have a little chat with him. You won't tell me? Is that all you have to say? Yes. If it's so easy for you to get the police involved, then why don't you? Somehow, I think you're not up to it. Hmm. Show them a little kindness and they jump all over you. That had the opposite effect, as I hoped. Aw, <laughs> smirk. Poor little liar. And you were so close. This isn't working. I think I've worn out this piece of paper's usefulness. Damn it. Oh, boy's affidavit discarded. The man in this photo is the one I want. Why did April May not want to talk about it? She must know him. It's, uh... Try it one more time. You're wasting your time. My lips are sealed. That man. Not the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Tell me about where is he? I'm not telling. Look, he's been accused of murder. I don't think you want to be protecting him. Hmm. Would you have sold out the late Miss Faye to the cops? No. See? Yeah, why? Why did you say no? Uh, something to get her to talk. Um, God damn it. So I go, I go back to our shit? Like, I, I don't know what to do. 
Looks like forensics is taking the day off. Detective Gumshoe, nowhere in sight. The police really gave this place a working over. I doubt there are any valuable clues left. Suppose it can't hurt to take a look around. I mean, I guess? His desk, perfectly clean as always. The only thing it's missing is Mia. The mom, maybe. What would... No, she wouldn't know the mother, I don't think. Like, she, uh... She really isn't relevant to that part of the story. Let's see back here. You couldn't cram more legal books in here, even if you wanted to. All the cases that the chief worked on are filed here. Hmm. Are some of the files missing? Nah, I'm imagining things. Uh. Anything else? The sky is blue and so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. Mia's favorite potted plant. I guess I'll have to water it now. An old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. I'll have to check it out one of these days. Hmm. Mia's desk. Okay. Hmm. hmm. I don't know what to do. Maybe go back here? Alright. This is getting ridiculous. Where the heck is that loafer? Ahem! Ah, that old familiar clearing of the throat. Aha! You again! Um, hello, Mr. Grossberg. Oh, well. You are quite the thing, my boy. Excuse me? The trial. The trial. He was there. Reminded me of myself when I was a youth. I guess something got passed down through Mia, maybe. It brings back memories, it does. Ah. The days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. I apologize. I... It was all a bit too much for me, my boy. Seeing you today. I, well... I I appreciate the reminiscing, but I'd much rather you give me some information. Today's trial. So you came to see the trial? Yes, yes I did. Something was bothering me all last night. You see, I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really, what was that? Well, you see, it's just me as sister. That poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. I mean, you could have tried helping her. You're supposed to be like one of the world's first class lawyers now. <sighs> uh, your refusal. I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have a right to know. All right, Mr. Wright. No, no, I'm sorry. It's just I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. Maybe I could find something that will inspire him to talk. Let's ask about the painting first, then I'm gonna flash that picture at him. The other day, I'm sure there was a big, pretentious looking painting on that wall. Pretentious looking? Well, you know, the one I mean. Anyway, where did it go? Ah, yes, well... I got rid of it. Got quite tired of the thing, really. I uh, sold it, you see. Yes, that's right. Sold it? I'm not sure I buy that. Was that painting rather important to you, sir? Did something happen? I don't see how it's any of your business. Please, speak no more of that accursed painting. I didn't, I, bubble, bubble. 
Uh, let's, uh, let's flash this. Excuse me, I was wondering about this photograph. Where did you get that? I borrowed it. Well, give it back at once. Mr. Grossberg, tell me about the man in this photo. He may have been in the hotel room with April May on the night of the murder. Do you know something about him? Anything? Hmm, uh -huh. Very well. I'll tell you what I know. However, you didn't hear it from me, if you follow. I follow. That man is Red White. He's the president of Blue Corp. His name is Red White and he runs Blue Corp. Red, White, Blue. Merka. Red, White. Hmm. Blue Corp. There's something like a detective agency, right? They're information pros. They sell information, you see, sensitive information. Despite his name, Mr. White has the blackest reputation of any man in this country. Should you run across him, watch what you say. You wouldn't want him dragging up any, digging any d up dirt up on you. Damn it, speak, Jake! Hmm, selling information sounds like blackmail. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Hmm. They saying America's some scam shit murders? Kinda sounds like it, isn't it? <laughs> I suppose. Huh. Mr. Red White. At last. Finally, a lead on this guy. Even if April May couldn't have done it, he could have. Time to take action. Photograph returned to Mr. Grossberg. Now I must ask you to leave. I need to think about things. Alone. Alright, um... Should we go back to the detention center? I want to see if we could tell her anything. And we can't. So, we're going to Blue Corp. Let's see what this shit's about. And there's the painting! That weird ass painting. September 7th, Blue Corp Inc., CEO's office. What's with the surreal decor? Welcome! Please furnish me with your. the title of your personage. What the? Your name! What's your name? I was just incorrectly asking the title that you go by. So the other guy is blackmailed. I, I think so, the other lawyer? Yeah, I really do think he's blackmailed. Uh, right. Phoenix Wright. Inquirably? Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Splendiferous! Oh, God. He's gonna be one of those type of people. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giant disc vocabulary? What is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion official. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. Oh, Connie, it's Ken. <laughs> so, I'm afraid I am not used to conversing with the wordly challenged. Eh, I mean, perfect man to hook up with Barbie, right? They seem like they're suited for each other. A fruitcake? Hmm. Let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yipes, this guy's ignorance meter is off the scale. Um... Talking. Miss May. Miss May is an employer of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She was my... Secretant? Secret? 
What a shock. It was to hear what she has done. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed, she is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. Uh-huh. It is ineffable that she would do this. Sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who could say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. This guy's a fucking idiot. Still, Mr. White. The hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although, I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Hmm, he raises a good question actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh ho ho! The police, the courts. To me, they are mere toys, playthings for my amusement. Dear Lord. Oh, fucking hell. What kind of company is Blue Corp anyway? Ah, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future, you might say. We are the future. Still, and for sell information. Oh my god, he blackmails them too. Yeah, he does. Police everybody, I'm pretty damn sure. In just 10 years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. Uh, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. You don't say! I, Red White of Blue Corp, as founder and CEO, named it so. You named it just to go with your name, you fuck. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Fabulotastic. Is it not? Fantabulistic or whatever. I hate the way this dude talks. He is annoying as shit. Uh, it's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. I've seen it before. You know, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh? Just yesterday, actually. Your point being? My point is simple. Uh, rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting, painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, a uh, lawyer? No, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch, zippo, not a bitch. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney, Grody Burger. <laughs> what? What? Uh, uh, why, why am I getting hurt? Oh, uh, he... He punched me? Yo, he punched me! What the fuck? Uh, well, yeah, you think he'd wear a blue suit since he really likes the color blue. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, huh? Charge me with assault? Charge away, I welcome it. For it is you who will be found guilty. What? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. You came here from Grody Burgers, I presume. Mr. Grossbergs, yes. 
Then you must ask him, why is it that his painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna stab a bitch too, baby. Go now, skididdle. There is nothing more to discuss here. Um, I don't know if I could show him anything. Can I show him? Would you be kind enough to cease your inane chattering and vacate the premises? Let me put it in a language you are sure to understand. Shut up and get out. I have nothing more to say. Let's go back to Grossberg. See, there has to be something up. Uh, I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat? Ahem! Jumping Jehoshaphat! I don't know who I want to hate more. Right? Oh, you. What's wrong? You look so pensive. Like an old man at the end of his days. Huh, I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. What up? What up? What up? What up, Trav? How you doing, homie? Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. No, no, no! It's talk, damn it. Mr. White, so I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh, oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit something that has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Go out with it, my boy. My bad kid's bad, and it's 21 minutes to go time. Awesome, dude, your first stream. Ugh. Uh, ah, the painting. Mr. Grossberg, sir, there was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with. Well, I saw it today. It was in the CEO's office of Blue Corp, Red White's office. So, you, uh, are you excited for your stream there? Hopefully everything shows up like it's supposed to. Have the chat box in and cam set up. Nice, dude. What are you going to be streaming? Oh, you're doing Days Gone. That's right. Oh, such a cool game, man. So you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Krosberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. C connected, you say? Uh, it's a it's a good game. I'm about an hour and a half in. That's gonna be one of my stream only games. So probably the next time I stream, I'll be playing that. Uh, he's giving you information. He's blackmailing you. Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail. I think that painting is fairly gaudy proof. Very well. We were right. He is being blackmailed. Hopefully now he tells the damn truth. Very well. This may be the chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it's time to get this off my chest. So I can finally rest easy again. After all, you were Mia's understudy. Perhaps it was fate. What's he talking about? Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. I'm exclusively streaming this, going to be way too long for vids. Got some brews too, so it's going to be fun. Nice, dude! Uh, now, um, if you gotta get drunk, I suggest you go on foot. No drinking and driving. You don't want to ruin your bike. 15 years. All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name in the back of the, those photographs. As you suspected, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. 
White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy. But arresting Red White will be near impossible. It does sound like a damn good party, right? <laughs> impossible? Why? Gotta get in into some brawls with some zombies and set them- They're not zombies, man! They're freakers! They're still alive and they will eat each other and there's children! He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grasp. Also, they're a lot like zombies, so yeah. There's that. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They're bound, unable to do harm to themselves and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. <clears throat> oh, the DL6. Mud stomp some demon babies. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, dude. I took a couple out with a baseball bat. It was fun. But what is the DL6 incident? The DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code, uh, code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium. A spirit medium. Medium? Her name was Misty Fay. Oh, it was there, Mom, boo! Fay, indeed. She was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the bequest of the police, and she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her of wrongdoing. Yeah, you know it. You called it right off the bat. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. The case is the DL6 incident. Hmm. Think about replaying Witcher 3 and streaming that exclusively. I was actually thinking about that today, too. Since I never really got all that far into The Witcher 3. Thanks to games like Ark. But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I... I told him. You told White? It is way too hard to record because there's so much that goes on in that game. He offered me riches. It is an embarrassment to me now. Ari Birdman, attorney at law! <laughs> yes, dude! Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it, and he came to me. <coughs> Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. Yet, if you would still challenge him, have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of of what she found. Uh, let's go. Let's go back and see if we could find anything. It's funny looking at this room. It seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said to look for clues. Maybe I should have another look. Oh, dude, I'm horrible with voices, man. I would, but all the cases the chief ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Uh, I'll say thrive. Let's see if there's a record in this file that catches my eye. Oh god, that guy should have a girthy old voice. <laughs> a B F Misty Fay. It's me and Maya's mother. Hmm. Should I take a look? 
I have tarnished the faint name, leaving only these words. My mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the power that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold the information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is... Hmm. The record stops there. So Mia knew Grosberg. Alright, let's check the other ones just in case. JCOS, nothing much here. Maybe I'll just skim through these. Sorry, well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest parts here at the end in S. Suicide Hill. She has a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. There's writing on most of these in pencil. White. This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. White drove them all to... I can use these newspaper clippings. Oh, we're on to some shit! Uh, we're on. Hmm. Let's find the most disturbing one. I talk about a politician suicide. The word white is written in pencil at top. Alright. Let's check one more. Let's check through all these. T U I know what white. The entire W section is missing. Was it taking? Of course it was taken. But uh anything on his deck, perfect clean as always. <sighs> Alright, uh Whoa, what should I do now? Should I go? Huh. Oh, let's check back with him. I don't need to talk about any of that stuff. Let's present this. I found this in Mia's files. So she was investigating Red White, as I expected. <clears throat> well, if you wanted to challenge him, you could present this in court. Not a bad idea. Okay. Um. Nothing there changed. Let's go back and talk to this asshole. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself. But it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. Oh, Miss May, I'm blackmail. There's no point asking someone this crooked a straight question. Need some evan- Ah, oh, what's wrong? Is something stuck on my face? Well, yes. There's my eyes and my nose and my mouth. But of course, I just- You need not restrain. Your mirth, my friend. It is okay to indulge in my cosmopolitan sense of humor. I will not think less of you. Boom! Um, this is the only clue that Mia left me. I'd better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. I would have asked Gurley. Got me starting, starting scene screen on nine minutes to go. Nice, dude. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then one day, word got leaked to the press. LOL. Oh, damn. He pulled the blackmail card. I I did. I did, Shion. Thanks for coming out to the stream. 
Uh, hopefully, uh, we could take this asshole down. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how. I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia? She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word. White. <laughs> Privilege was not after that, mind you. Even though this fuck has a lot of it. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him, either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all of the suicide cases that Mia investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation, Mr. Wrong. I... I know it's a play on his name, but it still bugs me. What is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, no, no. I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss May. Beep. Secretary's office. Hello? Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second. Mr. White. You're wrong? You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me? What I should be doing now is going after you. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then, Mia was murdered and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So the culprit would be... Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. A secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please con connect me to the police prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. The moment. One moment, please. Wait, that you? What are you doing calling me at, this, at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fey case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quiet... Qu quietude? I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man. He's trying to pin it on Phoenix! Why? Mr. White, this isn't another one of those. Chief Prosecutor, I do not believe you are in a position to really offer your opinion to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer. As was Miss Mia. How dare you? I'll point the finger at you and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they make even you look competent. I, I feel faint. Detective Gumshoe reporting, sir. Should have talked to girl. I think I may have. Should have. I, I think I should have talked to the girly. Um, <laughs> butts. Harry butts. All right, actually, Phoenix Wright and my friend's name is Larry. Oh, all right. Sorry, pal. Butts was that murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe. I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fay. Well, what? Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. Oh, wow. Just, wow, really? 
I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's going to set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be in on it. Of course, Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Right? Mr. Wright? Oh, Maya. Okay. They let you out of detention. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. But all evidence from before said otherwise. It does, but now a dude with a lot of money has me cornered. Now I'm afraid we've switched places. What? You mean you? I explained what had happened to Maya. Maya. I don't believe it. <coughs> How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother, my sister, and now you? This has gone too far. My lights keep blinking. Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well... Cheer me on? Well, you could cheer me uh, for me in court. Cheer for you? You mean like a cheerleader? Huh? Um, yeah, like that? Alright, leave it to me! Huh? I'd better go get a uniform and some pom-poms! <laughs> what? <laughs> Damn. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what? I'm kidding. It was a joke. No way. No, really. I was kidding, but thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. Might be gay, but dude, real talk. Melina is damn hot. Is Melina the one with the fucked up mush? Right? Katana's sister. Go ahead, Indy. Go for it, buddy. But, but, I can't just sit here and do nothing. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Yeah, oh yeah, she definitely got shark teeth, for damn sure. Just a piece. Okay, then, come to the trial tomorrow. Oh, okay. I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Now, now we're working on our innocence. We were just pinned for the murder of our boss. And now we gotta try to get out of jail ourselves. We're representing ourselves, but damn. But dude, in theory, you could get past that. She'd be yours for life. I got mine for life, dude. See, she's right above your name. I'm good. <laughs> Times may change, yet with crime, it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on internal court trials. Almost all finish in a day, most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself for this case. With the true culprit appearing as the star witness. This is it. Tomorrow, it's me or him. Ugh. This, this guy. To be continued. Yes, we're going to save. Save away. Let's get back to the thick of things. I got to clear my name. September 9th, 9.52 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 1. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. Won't be here too long, as I want to get some recording done. But wanted to hang for a bit. Ice, man. I mean, you're always welcome, homie. One way or another, this case gets decided today. We... I believe this is the last day for the case, so, I mean, you'll get to see the ending of this one, depending on how long you stick around. Ah, Phoenix, look! Prosecutor Edgeworth, 
I received a call from the chief prosecutor's office today, yesterday. I was told that whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. What does White have the judge in his pocket too? So you're saying I'm going to be guilty. End of story. I would do anything to get my verdict, Mr. White. Uh, right. Anything. Why? Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent. How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. You know he's innocent. Come on. Just like you knew Maya was innocent. There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. All that I could hope to do is get every defendant declared, declared guilty. It is his job, so, so I make that my policy. Edgeworth, you've changed. Hmm? Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix, right? For Phoenix? Well, court will be starting soon. What? But wait! Your defense attorney isn't even here yet. They're not... I'll be defending myself. What? Okay, let's do this. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. September 9th, 10 a.m., District Court Room Number 1. Edgeworth is the kind of guy who'd help murderer hide a body. Yeah, he would. I'm sure he would. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright. Are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I will be defending myself. Understood. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. As the details of the event are already quite clear to the court, today we will hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. I see. The prosecution may call its witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? It's like... It's like he already knows why. Hmm. If anyone's going to raise an objection about this, I suppose it's me. Mr. Edgeworth, your an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Miss Maya Faye? Huh. I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a busy man. And besides, at the time, I thought that was Miss May's opinion. Was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. Ugh. Great. He gets to show off and I get nowhere. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. His name is Red White. He's also CEO of Blue Corp. Mr. Red White of Blue Corp. <laughs> Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage? Uh, your name? Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my... Look, look, locution, locations, confusing. What? Name. These two are great together. My name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. The fuck does that mean? What, white, red, right? I am the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. <laughs> I hate them all. Oh, believe me, baby. I, uh, yeah. Judge, jury, and executioner, right? I fucking hate his smug smile. 
white child. Bring my ass up. Ow! Oh. He's definitely one of those Mexican type guys with a puss in boots type voice. He's not Mexican, he's white! Did you know the victim was Mia Fey? That would be a negatory. No, I did not. Ugh. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder. Correct. And you witnessed the murder, the murder from there. Is that your Facebook I'm hearing? Not mine, no. Or notifications. Eh, shouldn't. Uh, at least I don't think so. Uh, my phone and everything's off. And you witnessed the murder from there. Uh-huh. Well, tell you what, you already know. Very well, Mr. White. You may begin your testimony. If I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? Ho ho ho! Oh, this fucking guy. I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. Let him have it, Phoenix. Oh, here we go. Witness account. Let's see. I was a, it was about nine, I believe. I was quietly perusifying, or that's reading, to you some papers by the window. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. It completely contradicts everything that April May said. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She too was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she, she ran away, but you gave chase. Oh, finally, there was a terrible impaction that it was all over. Fucking hate this guy so much. Hmm. If things occurred as you testify, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant. Uh, I mean, Mr. Wright. Your cross examination. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, God. Okay, here, here goes this. Let's see, it was about 9 o'clock, I believe. Uh, that, that, go, that, that goes right along with Miss Mays, but we'll press everything. How do you know what time it was? Because I am always absolutely perfect, you know? Oh. <sighs> No, no, no. You're not getting away with that. You were so mistrusting, Mr. Lawyer. So, what was the proper term for secretary again? Anyway, Miss May ordered room service for nine. It happened soon after the room service arrived. Hmm. That's what Miss May said, too. I'm gonna press further. True, the bellboy who brought the coffee saw Miss May. But he testified that he did not see you at the time. Uh huh. That is your concern. Silly lawyer, Miss May received the coffee outside the room. Of course he could not see me. He would need x ray vision to pull off something like that. Tell us, what were you doing at the time? I was quietly perusifying, er, uh, that's a reading to you, some papers by the window. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. A bedlam? <laughs> Must have been when you attacked, I assume. We see, continue. Surprised, I turned and looked at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky haired man attacking a woman with long hair. So spiky haired. No, I have to. 
dodge and attack to the right. I don't want to present anything yet. I'm just going to keep pressing to see what I can do. He's to say, the man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. What you just said directly conflicts with Miss May's testimony. Miss May clearly stated the assault, the assailant, assailant looked like a girl. Jesus, Jay. I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. Just what is your eyesight? Counting both eyes? 40. That's not how it works, man. For, don't, don't add them together. I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. Hey, whose side is the judge on anyway? And what did you do then? I called Miss May over as once at once. She too was surprised, of course. This judge sucks. Yeah, he does. but he's got—he's in this dude's pocket, though. I mean, he's gonna try to go ahead and do everything he can. What Miss May may what was Miss May doing at the time? She had just finished watching a soap opera on the, on the TV. Ed was weeping openly. Did you know she had been tapping the Fay office phone? Irrelevant. That has nothing to do with the case at hand. I care not. I will answer the lawyer's bold inquiry. Miss May was acting alone when she tapped the phone of this Fay woman. You make a good politician, Mr. White. Ho oh, ho! I know, after all, I am El Presidente. Why? Just why, man? Why? Please continue. The victim, she... She ran away, but you gave chase. Can you be a little more detailed about that? Fuck. Why does Edgeworth's objection have to sound so badass? Because Edgeworth is badass, dude. He is. He's a badass bastard, but he's dirty as shit. I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course. Caprende. I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. You gave chase and shook her down. Are you sure? <laughs> as I know, I am always absolute. But absolutely perfect. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. The victim ran to the left, and you gave chase. There's no way to run to the left because there's nothing over there. There's no exit over there. There was a lamp post there. Should I should I present this or? Or, should I present th I pressed the button anyway, and it worked. Sorry. <laughs> Wait right there. Mr. White, you've dug your own grave. I accidentally made a good choice. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left. GG. <laughs> but that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim ran right. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it is simple. You have misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here, and the victim here. If the victim ran to the left, as you claim she did, she would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. And don't you find that odd? Huh, very strange. I did see her run to the left. I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think I don't think he's lying about this one. True. Maybe he really did see the victim run left. So he did. So he did witness the killing. 
I attack your hit points directly. <laughs> yeah, but we know this motherfucker laid a trap card. He's gonna change shit up. Lies! His left. Wait a second. Mr. Right. Now, he said she ran left. Pinky said she ran right. But, if you, if you think about it, if he is the killer, he did see her run left. It would be his left, just like Libby said. Yes, Your Honor. Miss May says right, and Miss White says left. Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? Both are right. Both witnesses are telling the truth, for once. Ha! Huh, I doubt it. Uh, rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. There's one scenario that would explain their conflicting accounts. What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean he was not viewing the crime from the hotel? If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law offices of Fay and Co., of course. More specifically, he was standing here. Time to show the court where Mr. White was standing. Right of there. This is where he was. Look. When the victim ran for the door, if he was watching from this point, to him it would appear that she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. That is where the killer was standing. No shit, Sherlock. Order. I will have order. Anyone disrupting the order of this courtroom will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? Rapscallion? Look at him sweat. Look at a piece of shit sweat. We got him by the nutsack. That postulation... The po postulate... What? Of the defense or distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. Ho 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 ho! You provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's laughing. The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear, and for this I apologize. Mr. Your Honor, might I be allowed to testify once more? Uh, very well. well let's hear your revised testimony. Good luck. You can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. I hope not. What kind of bitch fucking shit is he gonna pull? Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left, and then you hit her savagely. This is what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow. No! They said that she died in a single blow. There's no fucking way. Uh... Do I... I gotta show the autopsy report. That is what Miss... I, at least I think that's what the autopsy said, right? I have to check... Let me check. Died from a blow by a blunt object. May have lived for a few minutes after being hit. By a blow. So that means one, right? You see, you hit her twice. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? No, nah, dude, I got you by the balls. I, I have to be able to show that. Huh. That does seem to make sense. Mm-hmm. Will you be cross-examining the witness's testimony? You bet I will. Uh, I mean, yes, Your Honor. I'd be in the audience of the courtroom. Damn, burn! <laughs> Jesus. You'd be thrown in, like, contempt, dude. They'd kick your ass out. She ran to the left. Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. 
When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left. And then you hit her savagely. That is what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow. No, 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 no. Fuck you. Fuck you. Mr. White. The victim died from a single blow. What do you have to say to that? Uh, Erp. Now's my chance to hit him where it counts. Mr. White, wasn't it you who told this court you were absolutely perfect? Oh, now that's a fucking burn right there, right? I had Phoenix burning motherfuckers down here in this courtroom. Yeah. Mm. I will refrain from using this phase from now on. <laughs> Your Honor, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony. The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a ten minute break. Yes, yes, quite. Oh no, no, we're doing this shit now. The witness is confused because he's lying. I empathically request em empathically. Wow, I can't read today. Request that you there be no break, Your Honor. They're gonna come up with more bullshit. Oh, let him get away. <laughs> Very well. If the witness would care to revise his testimony. The crowd's on my side. No slipping out of this one now. White. Fucking white devil. Mr. White. Oh, okay. He's salty. Look at him. Um, well, see. I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. Then the next moment I saw Miss Maya run to the left. What thing is he talking about? Get out of this one, cotton candy motherfucker! Cotton candy Randy! <laughs> the killer, you attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then... She turned and ran for the door. The glass. The glass what? Oh! The stand! The, the, the lamp thing! She turned and ran for the door. Then you did her in with a single blow. Thwap! Hmm. Thwap indeed. Very well. You may begin the cross-examination. Mr. Your Honor? My stomach, you see, it is hurting. <laughs> Deal with it. Am right, Phoenix. Tell him. This is almost over. The two accounts. Um, let's see. I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. Let's press him on that. You heard that thing fall? What exactly was that thing? Uh, oh, oh that. Um, the glass light stand. Right, the one that had fallen over at the scene. Phoenix, wasn't something about you strike this as odd? Yeah, because that's not in the view of the window. That was all the way over to the left. Yeah, that is odd. I'll press further. Mr. White. Huh? But what? You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Yes. Then change your testimony to reflect that. So sorry, my bad. The witness will revise his testimony. How many times are we going to get this motherfucker to revise his testimony before we call him guilty? Okay, okay. Of course. A light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. Then the next moment I saw Miss Mia run to the left. Light sand was lying on the floor when I looked. There's no fucking way. <sighs> Look, he couldn't even see it. Because even... Even if it's all the way over to the left... Even if it's all the way over to the left... He, even wouldn't, he wouldn't have seen it fall. The most I could give him is he may have heard it. And she would have stepped on the glass, yeah. I'm going to present that. 
Mr. White. It was impossible for you to have seen the glass stand. What? Look at this. These are the floor plans to the scene of the murder. Yes. <laughs> I'll throw the book at him. Don't worry, Shion. <laughs> Correct you, Your Honor. Now look. If you were to look through the window at the office, this is the area you would be able to see. Here. Well, note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White, what do you have to say to that? Uh, uh, r r r ridiculousity. Mr. White, if you were in the Gatewater Hotel as you claim, you could have not seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a glass light stand. So when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell. And the only place you could have seen that from is inside the Fay Law offices. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. <laughs> we got his ass. We got his ass. This has to be enough. This has to be enough. Mr. White? Mr. White? You did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor, I... I... Miss Mia... <laughs> Looks like we're about to get our verdict. Ah, and this fucking asshole. Jesus Christ. That's far enough, Phoenix Wright. What? Uh, I forgot about Edgeworth. I honestly forgot about his ass, too. He has been too quiet. Mr. White. I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now? Hmm? Okay. You've activated my trap card. <laughs> <laughs> Is Edgeworth gonna get him to to tell the truth? What? I said you should confess your crime. Ergo, confess that you placed the wiretap. I gave you credit for a minute, asshole. Just, just, just for a minute. I gave you a little bit of credit, and you pull this. Thanks, Edgeworth. <sighs> the what wire tap Son of a bitch Order, order Mr. Edgeworth, explain to the court what you mean by this yeah, yeah, he still broke the law But he'll go away a lot less Than if he, uh Killed somebody And with the amount of money he tosses around He probably won't stay in long at all Distinguished members of the court, Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of Miss Fay. What does that have to do, Your Honor? The question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office and by who? No, you wouldn't. Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you entered Miss Faye's office. Am I correct? Correct! You are most correct, Miles. How long is this going to drag on? He's a piece of shit! Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the Faye and Co. law offices. That is when I saw that accursed uh, light stand. <sighs> but how does he know it fell over? Now I'm confused. Please expa explain to the court what all this means, Mr. Edgeworth. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position quite clear. 
He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand. At the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. White would like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. I see. However, it is a fact that Mr. White had been to the office well before the murder took place. When he went to place the wiretap, he could have seen the glass light stand then. Ergo, Mr. Phoenix Wright's theory is revealed for the baseless conjecture it is. <sighs> Mr. White, you will testify to the court about this wiretapping. Uh huh. Leave it to me. Uh, I feel faint. <laughs> the wiretapping. It was the beginning of September. It was a week before the murder. Oh, I had entered the Fanco Law Offices. Of course I had done so to place the wiretap. We don't have no evidence that that light was there or not. This is when I saw this glass light stand. Uh -huh. So, you saw the stand before the night of the incident. And this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over by the sound. Who remembers that, though? Correct. That is right. I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine. What am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. Thanks, kid. Mr. Perfect apparently remembers it. Yeah, but that is just something so... So, like, small to remember. Like, I, I've never walked into an office and been like, Oh, the light fixtures are so splendid. Or whatever. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. Sarcasm. He's a snake. <laughs> do, do you have proof? Miss April May knew the details of Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. <sighs> I had entered the Fanco Law Offices. Of course I have done so to place the wiretap. Why did you tap me his phone? This has no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. Blue Corp is a detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. That is when I saw this glass light stand. Why would you remember that? Why did you notice something so... something as innocuous as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I guess it made a lasting impression on me. Such a beautious thing deserves attention, does it not? I hate his made-up words. I really do. That is all. Damn it, there's nothing for me to press him on. Oh, well, maybe he's rattled enough that I can bluff him something. Bluff something out of him. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I don't have anything. The department store was... I can't look at it. What does that mean, though? Oh, you... I have nothing to bluff his ass on. It was the beginning of September. D do you have proof? Yeah. Aren't it the fate? Let's just let's just do this on all of them. Was it really you that went into the office, or was it Miss May? Unidentified fingerprints several days old were found in the Fay and Co. law offices. Those were obviously Mr. White's. And if I know Edgeworth, he's already ran a check on those prints. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the Fay and Co. law offices. Of course, I had... 
done so to place the wiretap. Uh, don't tell me I've run out of ammo. Tisk tisk. I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. The time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. I had nothing to show for all that. No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright? Are you giving up? Y yes, Your Honor. Phoenix? Phoenix? I know that voice. Maya? Oh, what the fuck? Never give up, Phoenix. But Mia? Um... It looks like her sister knows how to channel ghosts now. Where, where am I? The waiting lobby. What happened? It's a ghost who <laughs> runs out of the courtroom. <laughs> oh, right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. Ah, you're finally awake. Gah! <laughs> No, ah, a a phoenix. Gag, that's no way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. Uh, well, damn. Time ran. <laughs> you're your, you're Maya. Didn't you know the Fey women have strong psychic powers? When you accepted your defeat in court, it appears that was enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. So, Maya is channeling you, Mia? That's right. I am Maya, but I'm also Mia. Now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's what I came here to tell you. But, we don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen. You've already won. Huh? You have that receipt in the court records, right? Um, uh, yeah, the, the one you wrote Maya on. Phoenix, White wrote that, not me. Of course they had to, s to slip a bit of anime convulsion into the... Of course, I mean... Look at the front of the receipt. The front? It's a regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. And thousand dollars. Wow, big spender. Item. Glass light stand. Date of purchase, September 4th. I was the day before the murder. And he said that he was there a week beforehand. September 4th. That's right, Phoenix. I brought the stand the day before I was killed. Whoa, now... What did Mr. White say in his testimony? It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. He said he saw the stand the week before the murder. There you go. I think the court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent. Now you just have to prove it. Right. Receipt updated in the court record. So, Phoenix proved he's guilty, which he was, because of a ghost. Fucking great time to be haunted. I'm gonna tell you that much. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Is the defendant, rather, are you alright, Mr. White? Wright. Yes, sorry, sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Then let's start where we left off. Well, you see, Your Honor, my boss visited me from the grave. <clears throat> Your Honor, there was nothing to go back to. The cross-examination of Mr. White is finished. All that is requi required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant, Phoenix Wright. Hmm. Your Honor, please give me one more chance. I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask. But, as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. 
Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? I say, let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. That's where you fuck up, boy. You done dug your own hole. Very well. <laughs> Judge's most used word. Hmm. He does say that a lot. He does. You may begin your cross-examination. The wiretapping. It was the beginning of September, the week before. Bitch, no it was not. Look closely at this. See the word Maya written in blood? Wow, you're grasping. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The, the other side? Your Honor, would you tell the court what is written on the other side of that receipt? Hmm. Well, a glass light stand. And the date of purchase. Why, well, that's the day before the murder. <laughs> you see, Mr. White, when you allegedly entered Fay and Co. law offices at the beginning of September, the stand could not have been there. Well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? No. It's impossible. I, I liked that word. <laughs> oh, he's losing it. Well, Your Honor, I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. But, I think you'll agree, you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Very well. Then, that is all for the trial of... Oh, God. Not so fast, Phoenix, right? Uh... What? No way can you he worm his way out of this one. Oh, wait, I forgot. It's Edgeworth. <sighs> there is a certain thread of logic to the defendant's claims. However, there is no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. Ergo, I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry into this matter. Hmm. Another inquiry. This isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy must this guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. Object. Object. Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There was no need no need to prolong this trial any further. Hmm, there it is again, Indy. There it is. Just straight up. Hmm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth. If anyone is going to call Mr. White to trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a day to ascertain whether these new claims have any basis in factual evidence. Hmm, I see. Objection denied. Uh, why? The completion of the trial of Mr. Phoenix, right, will be postponed until tomorrow. No, there's no telling what will happen if I can't end this now. Edgeworth is sure to come up with or just make up something. And after Mia showed up to help me and all. The judge does hate me. He, he hates me. He has to. Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course. Thank you for your time. What the fuck? I have no other evidence. There's no way I'm getting out of this. There's... Unless... Unless something comes up, the witness will stay. Uh, oh, do it, Mia! Get him! <laughs> Mia! Uh, Phoenix? Read this note out loud. Mia, what's this? A list of people's names in Mia's handwriting. Your Honor, if I may. You're quite persistent today, Mr. White. Right? Right? You bet I am. My life is riding on this one. I have something I would like to read to the court. Uh, 
The memo Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. S -s stop Desist! Halt! But please, stop! Make him stop! How, how did you get that list? Mr. White, admit your guilt right here, right now. Or else this list will be released to the press. Oh, uh, I, I confess, I confess, I did it, I hit her, I hit Miss Mia with the thinker, oh, we did it, case closed, your honor, fuck yeah, well, I see no reason to continue this trial, Mr. Wright, it's your honor. You've done it again. That was quite a spirited defense. Yes, Your Honor. I guess you could say that. If only you knew how spirited it was. Mr. White in the living room with the statue. <laughs> right? Huh, well... This court finds the defense... Ahem, uh -huh, rather, the defendant. Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yeah! <laughs> Another one bites the dust, people! That was awesome. That was fucking great. That is all. This court is adjourned. That was sick. September 9th, 224 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Wow, go boo! <laughs> Well, I never thought I'd say this again, but congratulations. You're lucky I was born a fae. I'm lucky I had both you and Maya on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me and Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. As long as you live? My time here is running out, huh? Maya's powers are still weak. I can't stay here that long. But what? No, there's still so much to say. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Ch chief <laughs> I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix. Can you come to the office tonight? Say, nine. The office. I'll see you later. Chief? Mia? What are we? What are we gonna do? Is like, is Phoenix gonna get down and dirty? The big old titty face sister. September ninth, nine o two p.m. A and Co. Law Offices. Being here, it's hard not to think about that night. You came, Mia. I was kind of worried you might not. Of course I came. Well then, I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? Ah, uh, that's Maya. Maya's the one obsessed with burgers. Wah ha ha! You should see your face, Mia. What are you talking about? It's me, Maya. But Maya, what? Did I look like my sister? Look like you were her. Uh, pretty much. I mean, like her whole. Image change, everything, except for the clothes. I mean, those clothes don't fit her si- How the fuck did- uh, Anyway. Hmm. I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Uh, Maya, why are you here? Because of this. See? Maya wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of- Huh? She means the office. This office. Someone has to help with the new Wright & Co. law offices, right? Wright & Co. Nice. And who better but me, Maya Faye, reporting for duty. Wait, no. On second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick. Maya here. Ready to get down to business. You don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name. Maya said that's what your friend Larry calls you. Nick... You know what this means. We're partners. That's cool. You know, when I think about it, 
it is Maya's fault I'm here now. But, if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Wright & Co. Law Offices. It's got a good ring to it. Are they gone fuck? <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Maya. Aww. He looks so scared. <laughs> good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here, watching. Pervert. Right, okay, Nick, let's do it. Uh, do what? Burgers, dummy, burgers. There's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on, the time's a-wasting. Oh, okay, wait, how old is Maya? I believe she's like 18. Okay, wait up. The end, we're done with the Turnabout Sisters. Now we're going on episode th That looks cool. 19. 19. Okay. A brand new episode has been added. Saving content. Yes. Alright. Alright, ain't no pedo. <laughs> Alright, uh, we're gonna actually leave this one here because I do want to support uh, Travis with his stream. And I think start the next uh, stream of this will start with a episode 3, Turnabout Samurai. I mean, that photo was really cool looking, so I think this should be pretty cool. But uh, anybody who came out, Shion, Jen, Indy, even Trav, he was here for a bit. Uh... Yeah, uh, thanks for showing up and all that nifty jazz. So, uh, ah, they're saying raid in chat, so I don't know how to do that, but we'll find out off cam. So, uh, <laughs> thanks again for watching, people.